Genesis 39 and 2. What does it say? Mm. Everybody, let's read it up. Good, let's read. This is just such a powerful verse. Oh. Hmm. Verse 3. The next point is how to identify anointed people. How to identify anointed people. He saw, this is a great quality in a spiritual person, to notice that the Lord is with somebody. Okay, now... uh, John chapter 1, verse 29. It's a verse I quote a lot. One of my good verses, happy verses to quote when I'm preaching about the ministry. Behold the Lamb of God. The next day, John, he saw Jesus coming. Talking about recognition of the anointing. No, I'm telling you like the reality, if you become anointed, that's it. I wish Olin was here. Uh, all, I made Olin tell you the story of Sunday. It was not you. Some of you. Or make him tell that story till he dies. But that is a great, great prophetic moment. Yes. Now, look at this. The next day, John was by his church at the river. And he saw Jesus coming. And he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Are you with me? Now, for you to understand this, um, you need to read the whole passage. I think we're going to take our time. Verse 30 says, This is he. Now, John told everyone. I'm blessed already. John told everybody at the river that the guy I've been talking about, if you read John 1, he said that, and he's be preferred before me, and he's this, and I'm not worthy to do whatever. And when he saw Jesus, he said, after me is coming a man which is preferred before me because he was before me. You have said this in John 1.30. Are you with me? So now, verse 31. But I didn't know him. People think John the Baptist knew Jesus. He didn't know. That's why even later he said, let me confirm. Are you the one? He didn't know. This is a clear statement. I knew him not. This is all of us here today. We don't know the anointing. We see, we don't, don't know. We're not able to identify. Mm. You know, one day I was, I was in a place and Reverend Adeboye was preaching. <laughs> Very great anointing. Very great ancient anointing. Also another Hagen, Hagen product. Another Hege product. <laughs> That's I said, no one, no one person can carry it. Yes. Another Hege product. A mantle. He came to preach. Preach about the blood of Jesus. With this tambourine. Very great. I knew him not. I knew him not. Now. But I knew that he like he will manifest himself to Israel. Therefore, I came to baptize in water so that the manifestation will happen. Because somehow he had a prophetic word that the manifestation will happen in water. Now, before we go to the next verse, I want you to be aware that the next verse is the big verse so that you can concentrate. I didn't know who you would be. Okay? Now, next verse. But I saw the Spirit descending from heaven and abiding on him. 
Are you with me so far? Now, the next verse, I wish I could split the next verse into two because the first line is important and the rest is also important. Look at the next line. It said, and still, next verse, I didn't know him. I mean, I mean, but, still, you know. but, but, the one who sent me, that's the Lord, gave me a sign. The one who told me that I should be baptizing in water, the one called me, he told me that. Now, I want to give you this prophetic word from John the Baptist today. The one who called you into the ministry is also telling you that the God who called you in your room or at a camp or wherever you were called into that ministry, he's saying to you that upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining, that person is the one who can baptize also you with the Holy Ghost. Only an anointed person can transfer the anointing to you. And God gives us signs. John the Baptist was told the sign. When you see the dove, that's the sign. And all of us must know the signs that show us that this is the anointed person for me. Because that is the person who can baptize you. Not any pastor can baptize you. I'm sorry, Reginald is a pastor, but he can't baptize me in the Holy Ghost. I give good glory to his life. And I'm sure he'll baptize me in the Holy Spirit. But the one who you see, the dove, is the one who can baptize the same. Is the one who will be baptizing the Spirit. The same one. We must know the signs of an anointed person. We must. And the signs of an anointed person, you see, would be, listen, it's depressing. It's very depressive. I mean, it's a depressing thing to see the signs. But, but let us face it. You see, let, let's be honest. Let, let, us, let us, you know, you know, you know, John Austin said that when he was a Baptist preacher, John Austin, Joe Austin's father, said that like if <laughs> he reads um, Luke 4, 18, and then he sees, gives sight to the blind. Then he'll preach about spiritual blindness. Like, sometimes God, <laughs> God has blinded you all. Like lame people, like in the spirit, your life is not moving forward. But Jesus is more of a metaphor type of, you see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said that one day he had to be honest with himself. <laughs> You see, a lot of us, we have explanations. Do you understand? Pastor G, like, I haven't reached there. It's not my calling. It's not, I, I don't walk in that office. I'm currently operating at this. And a lot of, a lot of, a lot of explanations. The area that I'm in, that's why this one doesn't happen and this doesn't work and whatever. I'm, just, I'm telling you, God is strong. Me when I read it, I get depressed. The sign of the anointing. Let us not, Bishop, Bishop Harry, you see. The, okay, let, let, let's start. Number one, there are a number of signs. This is one of the big ones. This is the Jesus signs, okay? The first part, the Jesus signs of the anointing. Let's go. It's beautiful. Uh, Luke 7, 18. We'll read 18, 19, then we'll jump to 22 and 23. And we're reading NLT if you can. If not, just go ahead. The disciples of John the Baptist told John about everything that Jesus was doing. So John called two of the disciples and sent them to Jesus as to ask him, Jesus, are you the Messiah? Or the Messiah is the same word as Mashak, okay. anointed. Wow. So uh, you, this is even a bad transition. Are you anointed? They should have asked directly. Are you anointed? Are you the anointing we have been expecting? Or should we look for another Conrad, another pastor? Are you the one we were expecting in Legon? Are you the anointed person we were expecting in UPSA? Are you the one at Akrapoli that Akrapoli has been waiting? Because the Bible says creation is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. They are praying and crying. The earth itself is crying for someone to be manifested as a son of God. 
But you're not a complex. Beautiful. Now, in 22, Jesus answering said unto them, Go, go, go. Tell John. It's one of the places where you see Jesus' submission to John the Baptist. The things which you have seen and heard. Then he gave the list. Which I want Pastor Jiman to apply to his life. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have another, yes, literally, he should apply it. I want Pastor Iceberg to apply to his ministry in Akrapoli. As I, as I, you see, <laughs> you see, I, I have seen somebody who was blind in one eye, totally blind in one eye, and the eye opened. I've seen one before. I have seen a leg that was twisted and broken out of the ankle. I've seen it straightened before. I've seen a shoulder that had come for a person like this and it straightened before. Yes. And I've seen legs that one was shorter. I pulled it out. I have the video there. I pulled out the leg and it came to, by the grace, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Now, but, I'm telling you, I'm sharing with you in my, but, Frank, the blind, you didn't say those in blind with one eye, you see? I just want to, I just want, I just want to, I want, I want us to stick with the Jesus list. But I want you to tell yourself the truth. Don't say that no many blind people in Anakazo, so based on that, a lot of, a lot of explanations. Let, let us be honest. Let us be ruthlessly honest with ourselves. That am I anointed? Do you know why? This for two reasons. Number one is that many of you will discover in this session that you are not anointed. You discover that you are not. It's a very strong reality to dawn on you that, wow, I'm not anointed. Wow, to my shock, like I'm not anointed. This, this is the Jesus list. The blind see in in a uh, <laughs> Real? <laughs> yes, not those who the God of this world has blinded their eyes, lest the light of the glorious gospel to shine in them. Not that type. <laughs> yeah, it's depressing. That's why I warned you. I told you. And I want to ask all those who say that they're anointed. Tommy, do the blind see? Don't explain anything else. Don't tell me that the Holy Spirit is different on you. <laughs> you are praised differently. Don't say that. Are you the anointed? That word is the word Mashiach. Messiah, Mashiach. Mashiach. Sometimes people say Messiah. Some people say Mashiach. But it's all the same word. Mashiach, anointed, wrapped with oil. Come here, go. Are you wrapped with oil or should we wait for another one to come? <laughs> then you respond and say, Go, go your way. Tell them that right here in my ministry, the blind see. The blind see. I'm charging you to let the blind see. I'm charging you, not Pastor Ajman, not Pastor Ajman. He should think about his problems. You, I'm charging you that if I don't see the blind seeing in your ministry, there's yet anointed to, there's, there's yet anointing you should be chasing after. Go for this. I for, forgive me, forgive me if I've led you to a lower level of the anointing. This is it. Iceberg, I want to see if I never hear all your life that the blind see something is wrong. And it shouldn't take too long. It took too long for me to walk in the supernatural. That's a prophetic, that's a deeply prophetic statement. Don't make the same mistake. The lame, Bishop Harry, with respect. I just, <laughs> I want to share with you as my brother <laughs> that the lame, <laughs> not the lame in the soul. <laughs> John Austin said every time he'll be teaching. John Austin said every time he'll be teaching and explaining that the people in their soul, they can't move on. They are lame. They can't walk forward. They can't walk forward. Metaphorically. I think I have preached as nice messages before. I've also preached beautiful messages like this. Teacher, I have, I have nice teachings on this. And I just want to be honest with myself. See, I could have gone into that. That some of your members are lame. They can't move forward. They are standing still. And I'll give you scriptures. But I want us, I just want us to stay with the Jesus list, Wakuma. Do the lame walk? Wheelchairs. Wheelchairs, Pastor G. Do they bring wheelchairs to your services? <laughs> There's yet something and you can have it. I promise you. Because the one in front of you is carrying it. It's yours. It belongs to you. 
It belongs to you. That's why Paul said, I pray that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, that you know the hope of his calling and their inheritance. Sometimes your eyes, God has to touch the eyes of your heart to see your inheritance, what belongs to you in the spirit, what comes directly from your spiritual father, what you should be walking in. Phoebe, I've never heard of you in Takwa saying, young man, I say unto you, arise. I've not heard of this. The lepers are cured. Leprosy is incurable diseases. I know Pastor Frank's member who has cancer. Oh, it's not you. I think it's you. Can some form of autoimmune something disease that cannot be cured? The last I heard, it wasn't you, it was just you. She's still with Your sister, still with yes. The last I heard, he was bringing her to me that I should pray for them for there to be finances to send her to England. Oh, is it not you? Oh, it's not you. Somebody, oh, it was you rather. Yes, Pastor G. You should send her to England for operation. But when God works in a man, Jesus told us, are you the anointing? Don't give explanations. Look, I can also, I'm the best to give explanations. I found somebody with a broken ankle and he's straightened. I could have called it lame. But I want to be honest. I had somebody with one eye that was blind. It's gone. I had somebody who had asthma all their life. Totally disappeared. Glaucoma disappeared. But I want to stay with glaucoma with kind of blind letter. I want to stay with the list. The deaf hear. So I've said, Isaiah said, you have ears that you cannot hear. <laughs> Spiritual deafness, I'm not able to hear. <laughs> uh, the anointing is descending on us in a way unseen for a couple thousand of years. A couple thousand years. An ancient anointing. God is blessing us. The dead are raised to life. Again, you who were once dead in your trespasses as he quickened, you come to life because I live. You shall live also. Come to life. I've preached all these messages. You are dead in sin. Yes. And I want to stay with it. Solomon, I should hear of you and saying that because I'm a son of the prophet, the nature of my mantle is miraculous. The nature, how it is. And an and anointing that came from Watchmani to Smith Wigglesworth to Hagen. Before it came to me with a, with a small diversion through price. For it landed on me. In the nature is miraculous. Yes, you are only not so developed. So three, only three raised from the dead. That's it. Let us know. I'm telling you, all of you can raise the dead. No one should say I'm out of it. That's the kind of anointing I'm talking about. Let's go after it. Let's tell ourselves we don't have it and let's go after it. Let's not change it. You know, all these things, you know, all these religious people say that hey, you are preaching to your percentile leader, your center leader. Should you be preaching about this? You should rather be preaching about church growth and you should preach about this. And preach, I'm preaching the list. Jesus didn't say the church has gone. We are coming to that one. No, don't worry. No, 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 We are coming there. This is the Jesus list, and I want to stay with scripture. So if you argue with me, argue with the scripture. And, 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 and I'm telling you, Pastor Frank is, is, is 32 or something. Pastor Frank is in his 30s. Pastor Iceberg is in his 30s. Pastor German is in his 30s. Jesus closed at 33. By that time, many dead raised many. John said, if the things which he had done were to be written, the, the, world, the world could not contain the books. So all of them are nearing where Jesus was. So I don't know. Greater works than this. I don't know how it is being translated. Yes, now. Finally, the good news is preached to the poor. I don't see poor people around you. Before you say, oh, that one, dear. Before you, before you close on that one. <laughs> I, don't see poor, I don't see you surrounded with poor yeah. people. I see you surrounded with people who have things. Yeah. I don't see... Um, <laughs> poor people are different from children. <laughs> so, suffer the little ones. No, a truly anointed people is it's not that people who don't have anything. It's always helping them. It's helping them, helping them to become spiritual, helping them to go to school, helping them to marry, helping them to get jobs. Like a totally area individual, totally doesn't have anything. But they don't become your friend. There are some guys you bust. But I don't see sitting there are people who smell. 
and helping them, pastoring them. When the gospel gets to the poor, the good news that the beautiful messages that you have, when it reaches the poor people, that's the sign of the anointing. Not the rich ones. Jesus list. Pastor G, I don't see enough poor people, homeless. They don't have destitute. I used to, but nowadays, I used to see you in secondary school. People don't have wasi. And you'll be registering them. Oh, you've forgotten. Registering them to go to ideal college and things. It's a sign of the anointing, according to my Savior. Fight with me. Fight with me that I'm preaching on the anointing. I should use a different list. I should avoid the Savior's list to use yours. What do you think? Your religious teachings. I would like to stay with the Jesus list. How to identify. That's why John said, I want to teach. At first, I didn't know, but God told me that the one who the Spirit descends and remains. So he had seen the descending, and now he was checking the remaining by sending his disciples to ask, that, Is it still? Is it still there? Is it still there? Are you happy with the list? The preach is not long, though. as you can see. We are going to, we are already on chapter three or four, I don't know. We are on a chapter. We are moving very fast. There's no note to write. If Nayan is anointed, the blind will see, the lame will walk. Don't say lame in soul, lame in spirit. <laughs> eh? The poor in spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit. No, no, don't say that. Let's be honest with ourselves, ruthlessly. And it's painful. It's depressing. How many of you feel a little depressed? Yes. I mean, you almost have zero on the list. Which is, which is a conclusion. Now, now, so that's part one. Part two is that. Part two is that. The nearest mantle to you, that makes the blind see. You, you'd find one, the nearest one to you, that the lame walk. The incurable is cured. Where, where is the nearest one? Uh, the deaf hear. The dead, the dead are raised to life. And then, who do you know that preaches to the poorest people, the nearest person to you that God can find the poorest souls on earth, on, on Mother Earth? And he's preaching to them. Who is he? Who is, who is the anointed around you? I believe that God gives everybody some form of access to an anointed person. Yeah. Daddy was one handshake with Kenneth Hagin, and that's it. One handshake. Mysterious. That's it. He the host a one hand on your head, that's it. Bonke, one arm around your shoulder, that's it. But God gives you access. So my question is, who has God give you access to? As you are listening to Pastor Chris, whom I love and cherish dearly. It's a powerful man of God. But I'm just asking you that. Who has God, like, who has these signs? The Jesus list. Who, who's identified the anointed? Who do you see the Spirit descending and remaining? Show me. We need something, oh. We need something. You don't listen to messages to preach. Listen to messages to catch something. Every, spirit has two, every message has two parts, spirit and life. John 6, 63. The words that speak are spirit and life. We are so much learning how to live life that we forget the spirit part. Spirit impartation part. You can listen to a message on tithing and receive the anointing. You can listen to a message on marriage and receive the anointing. Because there's a spirit in it. It's not about the words that are being spoken. Beautiful. Echo, are you anointed? I, know I'm not, I can't judge you. He that is spiritual judges all things. And no one judges him. So I can't judge you. You are spiritual, judge yourself. Eyes, the lame walk. <laughs> not the lame so no. And not, not the lepers. The lepers in spirit. Symbolical lepers. People who can't, can't be cured of certain things. <laughs> Heart sickness. <laughs> the captives, the captives in spirit. No. <laughs> Blessed are the poor in spirit. Oh, God should forgive us for our words. God should forgive us for our words. Our things. Because as I started preaching, I felt the judgment. Oh, you are preaching to young pastors. You should preach more about... I'm, I'm just going through my, 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 my spiritual father's book. I'm just going through the chapter. 
and he says that today some people say that someone is anointed if he has a title when a person is called pastor prophet evangelist teacher apostle or conrep it is usually assumed it's assumed that he is anointed unfortunately some people who are called pastor prophet evangelist teacher and apostle are not anointed so how will anointed people be identified once again the bible will guide us in identifying anointed people number one identify the anointed by the criteria of jesus christ that's it then the verse then he says john the baptist was a spiritual prophet he wanted to know whether jesus was the famous anointed one they were expecting or not somehow jesus didn't find it necessary to say yes or no instead he sent him a message describing his ministry achievements and his works the achievements of jesus christ in which the blind saw the lame walked, the deaf hear, the dead were raised were unique achievements that could only be achieved by someone who was anointed by god the preaching of the gospel to the poor is a special work of the ministry achieved by truly anointed people ministers today measure themselves by how the rich people attend their services but indeed it is a pleasure for a pastor to have rich people in his uh, congregation but it's a greater accomplishment to preach to the poor who a person preaches to tells a lot about the kind of level of anointing he's carrying some people are more difficult to preach to it's more difficult to sustain a ministry to the poor than it is to the rich the fact that jesus was preaching the poor meant a lot to anyone who had ears to hear and eyes to see the blind walk it's an achievement that only comes from the anointing you see uh, you started two percentages fidelity has started 50 branches in Accra without anointing but the dead race only one only one only one thing can cause it I would just like to stay with the Jesus list. Yes. First, let's go with Jesus. Are you anointed? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Number two. Number two. Guys, are you are you listening to me? Sometimes I don't know whether like my preaching makes sense. I don't know whether you are understanding me. But this is it. You know, the anointing is everything. The anointing is everything. I don't know if it's you, I was telling on Sunday that, you know, it takes a Daniel to understand Jeremiah's books. So even the books you say you are studying, without an anointing, eh? Because Daniel is somebody who prays every day. <laughs> He's the one who understands Jeremiah's books. <laughs> so you, 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 you don't pray. You don't pray, I'm not a spiritual person. Number two. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm understood, whether I'm getting through. I don't know how to, to, to talk to you. I don't know. I had a dream. Beautiful. My tree is coming. People watch it. It's not bad. Identify the anointed by the sign of doing unusual things with ease. John 3, verse 1. Everybody, let's read. John 3, verse 1. Go. Yes? No, that's all. Two. First. Now, actually, let's continue. Verse three. Oh wait, I just thought of something to share with you, but I'm not sure. Let's. There's just so many things to receive here. You know, like. Nicodemus, a Pharisee, a hypocrite, and spiritual unbeliever, is able to notice that the things you are doing, except God is with you, you can't. And then we, like tongue speaking, Holy Ghost touching, receiving, 
banging, falling Christians. Is there something in your ministry that is done with ease? <laughs> with ease. Unusual. It's unusual the way you preach. It's unusual that you don't struggle. But your teaching is it's, it's unusual. There's something strange about when you teach. Pardon? Not too many hallelujah, hallelujah, <laughs> amen, amen. Not too much of that. It's unusual how you teach. Yes, that there's, there's an, an unusualness about your teaching gift. That can only be explained by God. Yes. It's unusual. It's unusual to be able to teach on too many, so many subjects. It's unusual. It's a sign that there's some anointing there. It's unusual to be able to start a church. I said, ah, last week, two Sundays ago, I said, ah, why is Tosin? You, 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 you're not serious. What about, what about, uh, go and be under Paul. Go and start a church. Go, go, and, go, and, start, go and start a church. <laughs> you see, I, I know a pastor, a great man of God. When he's going to start a church, it takes one year. They, they plan, they start some worker groups, interest groups to find out who is interested in being part of a church. They do a lot of arrangement. You have to find a venue, renovate, whatever. I say, go to the church. She sent me a picture some days ago that her church she had 19 people in church. Palace, it's called Palace Hostel. Yes. Uh, at, it's, 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 it's You should see that there's a grace on the ministry for churches planting. Look, I used to go and preach in, I preach in almost all the churches. Now, I can never preach in all the churches. When I go, I have to gather, you people gather, because if I say I will go everywhere, I can't. I have to preach in 600 places. If I go twice a week, it will take me six years to preach in every center. Yeah? Or six years, or, or three years. 52 times two, let's say 100 a year. Six years. To preach in all the churches twice a week, I will never stop. No breaks, no Christmas, no Easter night. It will take me six years. And I need your grace. You should understand the prophet that way. That, that is, that is that, 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 the kind of mantle. You should understand it. So, go, go, start a church. Go, start a church. 19. In a week. So, when you start a church? Unusual grace. Bishop Ayer, the Pope preaches, he doesn't use notes. Verses. 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 The introduction 12 minutes, 12 verses. Just sharp. One after the other after the other. We wonder that I still don't finish preaching. What he has said. Yeah. The unusual is is when I went to see Bishop Boko, my pastor, I told him, you know, lay hands on me. Lay hands on me. And what I want from you is that I can be in my car driving into the Kodesh, and I'll hear him lifting a song. <laughs> I've seen this before. Yes, I'll hear him he's lifting a song at the, at the great hall, and, and sometimes a song I don't know. Like, I don't know the song that he's lifting. But something, there's something, there's something, I told him, pray for me, that when I lift a song, there'll be a presence. I brought an offering to him, I said, I want this gift. It's a sign, uh, unusually easy. I want it. I like it. I want it. To stand, put a map on your office wall and say, Fiji, Fiji. Let's, 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 yeah, I want, I want to go, I want to go to Fiji. No, no, you should notice, like, that's what I said, Nicodemus, no, 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 no. This, this is weird. We now have 150 community chapels. We, want, we now have 150. You, 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 maybe it's multiplication that you, that you struggle with. 150 from last year to now, since the pandemic, as we've been asking people, we now have 150 people who have given $10,000 to build 150 small church buildings. And we just committed to 50 cathedrals. Yes. And the Lord told me, teach my people, teach my people. To you. you see, you don't understand the mantle, the high, the level of anointing. That's you don't get it. You don't get it. 
What is it? Because when you stand in your church and you mention 50 cities, there's a certain dryness. There's a certain dryness. You should notice. You should notice. You stay away from 100. Most of you stay away from 100. You raise her, you mention her. You have to notice, notice the anointing. Notice the anointing. 150, 150, 150. I built 50 cathedrals. First Love Church in Ghana, we have 12 ongoing church projects. First Love, not the other church. Whatever they are doing, God bless them. We have ongoing cathedrals. In the center of Ho, on the main road, when you turn right, 50 feet inside, we are right there. First Love Church. Cathedral and office block. In the center of Koforidua, five minutes from Koforidua Technical and three minutes from the other university. The center of the city. Not, not you, God bless you, they have an established church with a bishop. First love church. That's unusual. Is that a new one? Yes, the one we just started. I've been there to preach. For free that twice. <laughs> they, are, they are building a cathedral. First love church, students' church. Yes. We just bought land. 100 meters from the entrance to Takadi University. 100 meters. Yes. We just did because we decided. There was no fundraising. <laughs> there was no fundraising. You should know the mantle. You should know the mantle. And that's why your offering doesn't work. Because you've not noticed that the pastor you are following, the prophet, no. There's a mantle for raising money easily. Without stress, doesn't shout a lot. Doesn't shout a lot. It doesn't shout a lot. You don't notice it. You don't notice it. The most, the, the, you know in America, churches are supposed to report their finances. Yeah, so you know. I mean, it's a known thing. The church in 2019, the church with the highest, the, 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 all religious bodies are churches like, it's an evangelistic ministry or whatever, it's to the government, it's, it's classed as a church. So you see Benny Hinn, the right world healing church and all that, because he has to register it as a church. That's, that's the only, the richest ministry with bringing billions of dollars is Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. Mm. Billy Graham. They don't, they don't collect offers. They don't raise funds. If you like the work I do, you support. They don't raise funds. Have you seen him on TV, TV and Teleton raising them? If you like it, support. <laughs> You have to notice no one can do what you are doing if God was not with him. Notice. Notice. Hmm. And to provoke you to love and to good works. Be provoked. Notice when somebody is preaching seven hours on Tuesday morning. <laughs> yeah, he started at dawn. <laughs> and he says he has to cut it short, or otherwise Facebook will cut it short. Notice Tuesday morning. <laughs> Notice. Notice this is very unusual. It's very unusual. Very, 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 very unusual. Notice somebody who lands at an airport in Mozambique and the domestic terminal is shut down for him. Because the number of people there to welcome him is a hazard. It's in notice because you too, when you when you arrive at Taco and get off the bus, there's not much. There's not much. No, I'm just I'm not I'm not trying to dis disgrace you. I'm just I'm just explaining that like you have to. And, 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 nobody was there when you landed. Nobody was there. I even had to send someone to pick you. Nobody was there. Nobody was there when you came. Yeah, I walk alone. Don't don't give explanations. As for me, I don't like those things, you know. I just like, for me, it's just the presence and those things. And like, yes. Yes. Notice somebody who has a church planting anointing. When he starts the church, it seems to work. Notice a shepherding gift. But he's able to balance a lot of people around him. Manage everybody and lead everybody forward. Yes, everybody's moving forward. What is supposed to be there? Some are cut, wounded, but generally moving forward. Such a bedding gift. Notice the teaching anointing. Notice the preaching anointing. Notice the, the evangelistic anointing for soul winning. 
Notice the gift of government. The ease, the ease. No one could have done this. No one could have done this. Even Adebo, you said, he came from a long trip, traveling to preach. When he got home, one of his daughters came. My daughter came, she was crying. She said what? She says, he said, oh, give me my, give me my quickly. He said, somebody is, her, her, what, some, her, one of her relatives or her husband. Or, sick or something. Like, stand about, up, stand about up. About to die. He's about to so die. Oh, stand can, there, he, come stand can he come with can he come with her and come and pray for the person? That he just came from the trip, he so he was tired. So he told her, so just, my daughter, my daughter. I'm too tired. Just take my handkerchief. When I, the last time I went to Korea, Dr. Cho was preaching, he said, the Lord told him that the church is becoming too big for him to manage alone. So they allowed seven. Yes, it's now too big. So he allowed in, in Seoul, they, out of their one million members, they gave 300, 700,000 and shared it so that they become independent churches, autonomous churches to their own. And then they have, so that the 300,000, they can manage it. And the other pastors are his sons. They've grown. They can handle it. And then he gave the 300,000 to his assistant. And that was two years ago. And now they are costing 700,000. In his 70s. <laughs> In his 70s. So, so when such a man, you see, when such a man, you see him, you see, that, that is what makes us receptive. You see him now when he's preaching, he doesn't move. He stands at one place. Holy Spirit, what, what you should see, not his oldness, his slowness, his accent. Somebody told me, I can't listen to him because of his accent. You, 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 you're not hungry. You should look at him and say, there's a secret. And nobody understands this man or knows this man. But there's something on him, with him, in him, that is making the church grow. And I noticed it, so I'm here to receive. That's how the anointing is. In his 70s. As some people are saying, vision 25,000. That's us, by the way, in case you're wondering who it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yogi Cho has a branch in Ghana. Yes. If you drive on the Tawamoto, you see a Korean church on the right. You see, there's, there's, he has a building. It's Yoido. Yes, that's his church. Yes, we call it Korean church. Have you heard of saying Korean church, Korean church? That's Yogi Cho's branch. When he came to Ghana, he went to preach in his church. And that's his mission. And that he met. The last time that he went to Korea, the driver who drove him was the missionary. He speaks tree, eats Chito, everything. They even left Chito for him. Some of the pastors had some Chito and they left it for him. He's, he's a Ghanaian missionary from Korea to Ghana. Without struggling. Doesn't even look like a sweating person. No, he doesn't know. I don't know whether he sweats. I'm here sweating. I should know, I should know, I should know. There's something to receive. So what's the great anointing near you? The ease, easy, easy. I notice this in pastors. Most pastors can't notice that there's a difference. Most pastors immediately try to explain why they are equal. They don't notice a greater anointing. It's true. That's my experience. They immediately try to give reasons why. It's because it's India that they have a lot of members. You hear people saying that India, it's easy to gather people, small and all the people. They are not educated. Africans are not educated. That's why you can have large crowds. Yes. The question I'll ask you is that then be like Billy Graham. Chancellor, to the back, 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 straight. Be like Billy Graham. But Billy Graham preached to one million people in Liverpool. So since it's an African thing, then be like Billy Graham. So that we try Liverpool and let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you walk alone. <laughs> you there, you walk alone. <laughs> Nakoja, is there something that you, you are doing diffi is difficult, but you can see a mantle near you that God has provided in front of you? God told, uh, I think Isaiah, walk naked in front of Israel. Naked. To show them what I will do to them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this is how they and their families they will be taken out of there into exile naked. So walk naked as a sign. God makes great men of God pass in front of you as a sign of what can be done in your life. And as an example for you, let them walk in front of you. 
look in front of you. Isaiah, Isaiah's walking in front of you is a sign. It's an example for you. Isaiah walking, just a normal walking in front of you is a sign to you. Walking in front of you. The Bible says David came in and went out before the people. Walking in front of you. Great mantle, great anointing. Walking in front of you. Talking to you. Saying, Charlie, how? Officiating your wedding. He allowed it to be so. He allowed it to see the testicles of Isaiah. The testicles was a sign. <laughs> you were mocking him, but it was a sign. When you saw his bottoms, it was a sign. God allowed you to see him drinking communion, talking in a meeting, drinking water, chatting with you, checking on you. God allowed you to see him sitting in Pentagon, sitting on the wall. What, what glorious times. God allowed you to see him around him, how he talks, how he leads. He let you come close, which he has not allowed you to see with Lester Samuel. He's also a great man of God. Oh, yeah, the boy, you can't see all that. But he allowed Isaiah to walk in front of you as a sign to you and an example to you of what is going to happen to you. Yes, you will walk in that anointing. Amen. Just watch carefully. Watch carefully. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. Look at it carefully. What has, Iceberg, what has God allowed to walk in front of you all these years? Are you being changed into the same image as you behold the glory of God? Or you are staying at the same place? That's why I like that song. There are higher heights, there are deeper seas. Whatever you need to do, Lord, do with me. The glory of God fills my life and I will never be the same. Yeah. There are higher heights. Something deeper than what I'm carrying. Whatever you need to do. Behold, I know the plan I have for you. Plans of good. God has plans for your ministry. God has plans for your mantle. The glory of God. Faith. That's the anointing, the presence of God. And I will never be the same. I can't hear you. Fall like songs about the Holy Spirit. Fall like fire. Soak me like rain. Soak me like rain. The Holy Spirit has rain. Flow. Flow like waters. Flow like waters again and again and again and again and again. Sweep away the darkness. Burn away the chaff. This is my favorite part. And he makes his ministers a flame of fire. Let the flame burn to glorify. to walk Lord how can I receive this anointing how long do I have to pray what do I have to cut off what do I have to change show me Lord I walk the path I will never be the same again I don't like what I am Lord I want to be changed by you Lord there are higher heights there are deeper well, let me ask you again say increase the volume whatever you need to do Lord do The glory. I don't know if you, you desire the anointing as much as me. I'm just a boy from that woman. I need his power. I need his glory to change me. I need something to come upon me. I need someone to walk with me and be inside of me. I need his spirit. There are higher heights. There's something deeper, I tell you. God bless you for what has been done so far, but there's something deeper. Whatever you need to do. The glory of God, the glory of God, is filling your whole life, fills my life.
something higher than this preaching on Wednesdays and a few centers here gathering people here and there something better There's something better There's something better your higher heights your deeper seas your deeper seas something deeper whatever you need to do Lord do it to me do it to me Lord pray for your glory your presence Commit, commit to the anointing, you know. Commit, lift your hands, say, Lord, there's a price. I can tell there's a price. Commit to it. I need your anointing on my life. I need your grace on my life. The anointed is before me. You've made him walk before me. I identify the anointed, Lord.
vida que esa noche la haces tú. That as a noche la haces tú. did he make you see? What has he made your eyes see? What has he made to pass before you? And Elisha took the mantle of Elijah and struck the waters and he cried, my father, my father. Where is the God of Elijah? And the waters parted. And when the prophet saw the waters had parted, they bowed down and they said, For the spirit of Elijah doth rest on him. What has he made you see when they saw God allowed you to see the waters parting. He allowed you to see a mega church. He opened your eyes to see a healing ministry. He opened your eyes to see a pastoral gift. He opened your eyes to see a great apostle, an anointed prophet. He allowed you to see. Surely the Spirit of God rests on him. He allowed you to see, to identify the mantle which he will bless you with. Yes.
Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your anointing. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. We want to do it with you, Lord. Come in for the anointing, Lord. Come in for the anointing, Lord. Anointed people. Anointed people. Grace, the grace of God. The grace of God. The grace of God. Anointing. Yes. Receive a fresh anointing. Receive a fresh anointing. Receive a fresh anointing. Anointed with fresh oil. Fresh oil, fresh oil, something fresh, something new. Something new. I know, I know it, I know that thing. It's, it's beautiful. Receive it, a fresh oil. A fresh film of oil. What you couldn't do, do with ease. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Yes, yes. It's how things are done, eh? Work of God, not the work of man. I thank you, Lord. Begin to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. Just thank you. Just thank you.
mysterious impartation, Lord, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you for a blessed time.